Good morning everybody and welcome to Supplement Sunday. Here is the promised presentation. It is about supplements and one supplement that's particular close to my heart, the cold pro to prevent colds and flus. It is the flu season and I will show you how actually to do something about it this year. Now, for those who don't know me that well, I am Dr. Christine, a German trained physician, conventional family medicine, dermatology, which is in Germany, skin diseases and autoimmune diseases. And I'm also a naturopathic physician and I'm also an allergist, allergy specialist. I'm board certified in Germany for dermatology, allergies and naturopathic medicine as well as leg vein diseases. So I have a good overview and I'm very interested in supplement. I take them myself after I had a gastric bypass in 2006. I have to. So I learned all about what's possible and what they are about. And I want to share a little bit of this in today's presentation. Thanks for joining me. It is interesting, fascinating really. Now, we are talking about cold pro and it really helps to prevent colds and flus. What's in it, you ask? Cold pro is a mixture of seven different ingredients that supplement each other to get you the results you are looking for, which is not to get the cold when everybody around you has it. The first ingredient we are talking about is andrographis. Andrographis is a plant that is native to South Asian countries such as India or Sri Lanka. The leaf and underground stem are used to make medicine. It is frequently used in Ayurvedic and our medicine for preventing and treating the common cold and flu. It especially works well when combined with ginseng, as it is here. Other uses are as a digestion aid, helps with skin problems, allergies, infections, inflammatory bowel disease, and more than that. Second one is reishi mushroom. It's quite interesting too. Uh, many people have no idea what mushrooms are, and I wanna get a little bit deeper into that. A mushroom, what we know of as mushroom is really only the fruit of the mushroom plant or whatever it is. It's really not a whole plant because it's not green. It has no chlorophyll. It's a very different organism. Now, the fruit produces what's called spores. And those little spores, there they are, are formed in the gills and fall down on the soil. And in the soil, on any other medium, where they can grow, they form what's called a mycelium, which is really the root of the mushroom plant or mushroom organism, I should say. Now, the mycelium protects and supports the mushroom. And interestingly, the mycelium is the biggest part of the mushroom. It goes widely below the, uh, the, the soil or the substrate and that's why you have another mushroom is the same as fungus in in latin so if you have a fungus like a mold which is a mushroom in a way uh, you have the mycelium the roots far down in the bread and that's why anything soft that has mold on the surface you shouldn't eat because what you see the white fluffy stuff or black fluffy stuff even worse are just the fruit of the mushroom the spores, that's what you smell. But way below is the mycelium underneath. That's why you shouldn't eat moldy foods, especially soft ones. Now back to reishi mushroom. <clears throat> it's well known to boost and regulate the immune system. It also helps with infections, including colds, flu and more. It is well known to reduce stress and helping with fatigue. It also helps with cancer treatment. It is an amazing mushroom and we'll talk about all of those supplements in detail in future episodes. 
Now, another ingredient is vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. And we all know that vitamin C is a natural essential vitamin found in all fruits, vegetables, and animal products. Many people have no idea that animals can make their own vitamin C, but humans cannot. And that's the reason why animals, when they get sick, make extra vitamin C to help them get well. Humans don't do that. So what we have to do is either increase our intake of fruits and vegetables that hopefully still contain vitamin C, or we can take a vitamin C supplement. And now I have to say what's in Cold Pro is just a little bit of what I think we need. I myself take four grams a day. Generally, it's recommended to take at least 500 milligrams a day as a buffered supplement, which is easy on the stomach. But uh, up to two grams is safe for sure for adults, uh, and it helps with many functions in the body, infections, the common colds and flu, skin health, allergies, stress, stress, constipation, and more. The next ingredient is echinacea, that little flower here on the left. Purple, nice flower, I love it. It's actually really, really big. It's a plant native to areas east of the Rocky Mountains in North America. This medicine is made from leaves, flowers, and root of the plant. It was widely used by native Indians and then in the pre-antibiotic era. And then the antibiotics made it unknown. Until now, it experiences a comeback because many people are very skeptical to take antibiotics and really many uh, antibiotic resistance illnesses come up and echinacea is one of the herbs and supplements that can help with infections. It also is known to help with anxiety, fatigue, skin diseases and more. So it's a very important supplement and I'll talk about each of them later on. And I also want to say that uh, Doc Christine, at Doc Christine we do supplement plans individualized for your specific needs. So if you have interest in that, please Give me a call or book an appointment, which is even better. I offer free phone appointments. You can see it on the left on the Facebook page or underneath this video, I post the link. The next ingredient in cold pros is astragalus. It's not well known. It's a Chinese herb. It's used widely in Chinese medicine. The root of this herb is used to make the medicine. It's known to help with common colds, infections, allergies, fatigue, fibromyalgia, and more. It stimulates and regulates the immune system. Many natural supplements not only stimulate the immune system, but also regulate it. And they are used in combination with cancer treatments. And that's the reason they help with overactive immune system sometimes, like allergies or sometimes even autoimmune diseases. But as always, when you start a new supplement or diet regimen or have any serious diseases, take any medications, there can be side effects, there can be interactions, please ask your healthcare provider before starting a regimen. The sixth that I want to talk about is American ginseng. It's an herb, the root is used. It's grown in North America and it boosts and regulates the immune system. It also helps with infections. Of course, that's why it's in cold pro, stress and fatigue. It also helps with digestion, memory problems, ADHD and more. An amazing herb and we'll talk about it later. Now there's zinc, number seven. Zinc is a metal. It's interesting, you see it glistening. Now we can't eat the raw but it is as uh, zinc chloride, zinc acetate, or in other chemical forms, which are natural, it's an essential trace element, which we need for many enzymes and other bodily functions. It's part of the trace minerals 
that is needed for immune function, wound healing, blood clotting, thyroid function and much, much more. It's supposed to be in relatively high levels in meat, seafood, dairy products, nuts, legumes and whole grains. But if they are conventionally grown, often what's missing are the trace minerals because the soils nowadays are very much depleted of nutrients. Zinc not only helps with cold and flus, it also helps with infections, stomach problems, skin problems and much more. That's all those ingredients I'm cold pro and that's why I recommend and take myself cold pro if I feel I'm getting a cold. Now we'll go in future episodes of this series we'll get into all those types of supplements and break them down into their uh, uh, different compartments. Next time I'll talk about vitamins, what they are, the different types, and then in following series we'll talk about the rest of them. So we have a lot of time to get into all of them. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please like and share my Facebook page, check out my website and at Doc Christine we are balancing science and nature to guide you back to health. If you have any health question and feel we could help you with that, please book the free health consultation over the phone or Zoom. No problem, no quibbles, no obligation, 100% private and confidential. Thank you very much. Goodbye.